Tuesday, January 14th. We came into town today. I'm going to the auction to help my dad do inventory of the jukeboxes and pinball machines and mm -hmm. arcade games that he's going to sell in February. Let's go in and see some stuff. There are a lot of arcade games, jukeboxes and pinball machines, poker machines. The Adventures of Robbie Roto. Some are in great shape, some are in not so great shape. Even if something like this is in poor condition, then it will bring half of what it would be if it were in excellent condition. I just got my hair cut at a salon called Swank. I really like it. I think that I'm gonna be driven nuts by my new bangs, but I like that it's covering my big fat forehead. It's a lot shorter, we got rid of some of the length. My stylist's name is Eric and he's so lovely. Thanks to the people at Swank and Eric and um, yay for my new hairstyle. I lost like 100 pounds off my hair. It's Friday, January 15th and it's my best friend Rachel's birthday. Rachel, happy birthday. I'm standing in the Walnut Grove right now. This is a place that I used to come and think when I was a kid and I still do when I come back to visit. It's 2010 and I haven't really talked about what my goals are. I want to focus on working with my theater company, uh, the Cockeyed Optimists in New York City. I'm ready to start thinking about what's next. I want to spend more time here. I love New York City and I'm not done there. I think I'll always be connected somehow or going back to do work. This place really makes me feel like I know it's important here and it's not the stress and it's not getting caught up in my own ego every day. And It's really about breathing and realizing how small you are comparatively to these mountains and these trees who've been here for hundreds of years and how calm and stable they are. I am not those things, calm and stable. I know that about myself. I like that I'm not calm and stable though. I, I have, I do have a fire in my belly, wanting so badly to work with people and to have a purpose-driven life. I, I feel like I know what my purpose is and that's to entertain and to make people think and to look at their own humanity. I just. I'm not doing the best job that I can of that, and I want to do better. So 2010 is about figuring it out. Okay, enough of being serious. Thank you for listening. I just felt like I had to uh, get some things off my chest, and sometimes the best way to do it is to hear yourself talk. That's why I feel grateful that I have so many subscribers who want to watch me, and it's bizarre. Thank you for, for watching. <laughs> but it's wonderful. It makes me feel not so lonely. It feels like I can share my experiences with other people in a in a very specific way. Anyway, let's go see what Bob's up to. It's Friday, January 15th, and we're having a bonfire in the middle of the day. How long has this been standing here, Dad? Oh, 25 years. 25 years, and we're tr finally cleaning this mess up. I'm gonna use the cinder block. Oh, it's just a nice day to burn stuff. Saturday, January 16th, Bob and I have taken a hike down to the river. And we have beavers here, and beavers have made their mark. They can really destroy some trees. They chewed this tree completely in half. They Look chewed it completely in half. They knocked it down, and then the river carried it off. That's crazy. They killed the tree. They killed the tree. Because what happens is, remember how I told you only the outside of the tree is alive? Yeah. Look here. You see the bubbles parts? It's the live stuff. This is all dead. Oh. So what the beaver does is it eats all the way around the tree and it kills the tree. It's easier to bring down. Cool. So go out and kill beavers. No, don't do that. Don't kill beaver. They're too cute. The river is so clear and clean today that you can see right down to the bottom. I know. Mickey, don't fall in. Another pretty day.